everyone. Welcome to Wager Talk. I'm your host, Minty, and joining me today, I've got Drew Martin at Drew Martin Bets on Twitter and Teddy Covers at Teddy underscore Covers on Twitter. This Saturday, we've got Michigan at Penn State. Penn State, 6-0. and Michigan State, 5-1 and straight up. No. Not Michigan State. I mean Michigan. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Michigan. <laughs> Teddy's from Michigan. Yeah. You make that mistake, though. Oh dear, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the tweets will start coming in <laughs> fast and furious. <laughs> yes, Michigan, five and one straight up. Uh, they're three and seven against the spread their past ten games. I personally feel like I can't take Michigan um, because they burned me against Army, they burned me against Wisconsin, and I don't think they covered against Illinois last week. Um, they were 24 and a half point favorite. Um, so nine is not a, an unrealistic number for Penn State. Am I right? Wrong? What do you think, Teddy? So there's a lot to talk about in this game. Okay. Um, I mean, there really is. Uh, it's a blowout series, all right? Each of the last three meetings, they, they played each of the last three years, and each time the home team has killed them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, by 30, 40 points. Last year, Michigan won, uh, I think, by six touchdowns. It was the worst loss of the season uh, for Penn State. It's a loss they remember and a loss they're trying to avenge at home. And this is a home field that's worth something. There's a lot of home fields in college football that really aren't worth very much. Uh, Happy Valley on a Saturday night with a whiteout and Michigan in town, that's worth as much as any, literally, as any college football in the, uh, home field in the country. So you have to respect that. So all those factors point towards Penn State. But <laughs> we've seen this Penn State offense play two good defenses this season. They played Iowa and they played Pitt and they got to 17 in both games, barely. You know, that offense is not, Clifford wasn't moving the ball up and down the field. It is a young quarterback. It is a rebuilt OL. Now we're halfway through the season, so we expect improvements week by week. But Penn State's offense is a little bit dicey to be laying nine points with against a really good Michigan defense. Now the question is, is Michigan's defense elite? In particular, are they elite on the road? Because we've seen them play really well in Ann Arbor, with the exception of the Army game. And Army, just, you know, they weren't focused on the Army at all, and it showed. But in, our, in, in Ann Arbor, this defense has been stuffing teams. At Wisconsin, they got gashed. Last week, they're up 28 0 at Illinois. It looks like they're going to cruise. And then the defense forgets that uh, they come out of the, 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 the locker room after halftime, and all of a sudden it's 28 25. And that was the defense not getting stops on the road again. So the big question for me, Drew, is Michigan's defense at that level we can go, yeah, this is a really good defense that Penn State can't be laying this price against? Or is Michigan's defense vulnerable to getting gashed? If they are, I certainly don't trust Shea Patterson, the Wolverine offense, to light up uh, Penn State and march up and down the field. This is not a game where I'm expecting Michigan to get to, you know, three touchdowns or more. Yeah, and in terms of their defense, are they elite, Teddy? I, I, I wouldn't use the word elite at all, especially going on a road, tough environment here with the whiteout. And I do agree with Teddy Minty in terms of uh, the whiteout at Penn State Happy Valley. It's one of, if not the strongest home field advantages at night in the country. So um, in terms of the quarterback play as well, Shea Patterson, I'm not a big fan of him. I think he's overrated. Um, a lot of people, you know, put a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, you know, negative attention on Harbaugh. But I think, you know, you you have a, a, a veteran quarterback, and we saw what happened with him at Ole Miss in terms of when he went out of the offense, the backup came in, and actually the, the analytics showed the offense was better at Ole Miss. Now we've seen him here at Michigan not perform very well. You, you said it's a, bun a bunch in terms of Michigan, it's burned you. They burned a lot of people out there. I tend to stay away from those type of profiles and betting on teams, and I like Penn State at home here. Sidewise, I'd lay the nine. Beautiful. Anything else to add, Teddy? At plus 10, I'm probably a buyer on the Wolverines. So, uh, not, not nine. Nine's not my buy price, right. but if, if the market moves to 10, uh, I'll be interested. Noted. Thank you, guys. Wager Talk Text Club 100% free. Just text Wager Talk to 33222 to get a $10 coupon for signing up, plus free picks and other special offers.